84-year-old Monsignor Charles Chimboa is among the 10 in the Kampala Archdiocese with the honorary title. I was given this title in 1981 by Saint Pope John Paul II. He was not a saint yet. In August 1969, when Pope Paul VI made the first historical visit to Uganda and to Africa, Musnio Chimboa was a mathematics teacher in Chisubi Seminary. He remembers the priests and seminarians lining up to meet the Pope as he traveled to Kampala as he left Entebbe Airport. And when he came to where we were, the seminarians and, and the priests gathered, the, the driver stopped and the, the Pope gave us a blessing and then they continued. Monsignor Chimboa tells of a tug of war over the Pope's accommodation before he arrived in Uganda with President Milton Obote and Archbishop Emmanuel Insubuga differing over where he should sleep. The Uganda government, which was being led by President Milton Obote in 69, suggested we shall, we shall book a whole hotel and drive out everybody, no visitors. The Pope and his entourage will be housed there. Archbishop Nsubuga uh, had another view. I'm going to put him in my own house in Lubaga. We, him, himself, and other priests who are residing there, would go elsewhere and leave this house to, to the Pope. So there was a tug of war. The final decision was that Pope Paul VI would stay at the house of his ambassador to Uganda in Insambia. The Pope's visit came five years after he had canonized Uganda matters, and Monsignor Chimbawa recalls that the Pope made a pilgrimage to Namgongo, where the young men met their death and blessed the Catholic shrine that was then under construction. Archbishop Nsubuga asked the Pope to bless the church she was building there on the spot where Charles Rwanga was put to death, where he was burnt by fires. Now when the Pope arrived and he went down to the middle of the church, the, the very spot where Charles was, was burnt to death, he prostrated on the ground and he kissed the ground. Monsignor Chimbo's second opportunity with the Pope came when he visited the sick and the disabled at Rubaga Hospital. At 28, the priest had suffered from polio, which had left him crippled. I got polio before I was ordained a priest, so I can fit in that group of uh, disabled. And they were gathered together in Rubaga with the sick. Some sick were put outside, those who could easily move from their beds. In February 1993, during Pope John Paul II's visit to Uganda, the Monsignor was a senior secretary in the office of the Archbishop of Kampala. The Pope met the clergy during evening prayers at Rubaga Cathedral. He was saying to us, preach to your own people in Africa. You don't have to wait for people from Europe anymore. Monsignor Chimboa notes that there have been remarkable improvements in the preparations for Pope Francis' visit, enabled by improved technology and exposure. Irene Namialo, NTV.